Oh yeah, definitely. We before you came on, we was talking um, too. We was talking about I forget what show it was, but Paul, uh, DJ Paul, recently um, he mentioned you in an interview, and he was yeah. giving you props. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you and Paul had beef. You know what I'm saying? How does that make you feel now? Seeing him finally be, acknowledge you. You know what I'm saying? When for so many years he really wouldn't really even acknowledge you. I mean, it's it's always anything anything that's 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 moving forward in a positive manner is always good, man. I'm, it feels good yeah, to hear yeah. that, you know, because at once upon a time that was my little homie, man, and you know it's like we were so young back then, and when you see somebody, you know, to him he was looking at me like I was already on, like I had already made it, you know, you were the major label, man, you got an album out, you got video out. He was so young in his eyes, I could just pull him right in. But it wasn't like that. He didn't, I mean, you know, at the time, he didn't really know <clears throat> all the stuff I was going through. So sometimes when people don't know the situation, they think you just want the spotlight for yourself. And they'll take that as, they'll take that, uh, you know, as an offense. Like he used to he used to write raps and bring them to me, and I'd be like, it sound high, Paul, but it need to be better, man. We got to, because I taught him and Lord Infamous how to write 16 bars. You know, so I was just yeah. trying to help him get his lyrical skill. He was struggling with it back then, and <clears throat> he used to take that personal. And I'm like, no, nah, don't take it personal, man. It ain't like that. I'm trying to help you get right so I can pull you in. Because at that time, you had to know how to rap. Whack rappers didn't have the platform they got now back then. <laughs> you couldn't bring no whack rapper, you know what I'm saying, in and just expect people to embrace them like that. And they, they weren't developed yet. But over time, they—I mean, look what look how they turned out, though. Had I had I would have pulled them in, it, they probably would have took a whole another route. By me not pulling them in, getting them that tough love, look what they turned into, man. Lord Infamous turned out to be one of the greatest lyrics of all time in my book. And Paul became yeah. one of the best CEOs in the South. You know, far as far as you know, taking his label and the groups and stuff to the level that he took them to. You know, he's a he's a very good businessman. <clears throat> When it comes to running the label and stuff like that, so I mean, I guess their motivation yeah. was to prove me wrong. That may have been what propelled them to the level that they got to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, man. I was little, little things like that could alter everything. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And and like you said too, man, he was super fucking young. You were super young at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? He might not have understood what was really going on. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And, yeah. and uh. You know, but yeah, you 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 were there. You know what I'm saying. You helped, uh, uh, you know, like I said, mentor the, the development with a lot of these guys. You helped them write. You know what I'm saying. Um, what about today, man? Uh, do you think? I mean, I, I you know, uh, I we just had Paul on. I didn't get a chance to ask him this, but I'm gonna ask this to you. Do you think now that all this time has passed, you guys have grown and? You've been in the game so long. Is there a possibility that you guys could actually collab? Because I think that would be dope as fuck, man. Man, man I, I would love to want to see it. <laughs> I would love to, man. You know, just just because, uh, you know, just because I know it's it's gonna be some, it's gonna be epic. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know. See, the thing about it is, me and him never had that sit down. All, all our yeah. run-ins were at once upon a time. Verbally confrontational, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The one time it got serious when we bumped into Juice and Jeb at Arden Studios, and uh, I had a homie with me, and we was already in a bad mood anyway. We had been into it with some old people, and we get up there, and the guy comes out and says, hey, man, y'all hold up. We got 3-6 Mafia back here, and we looking at each other like, oh, shit, here it go again. But it was just Juicy by itself. <clears throat> so he come out, and, you know, we exchange words, and, you know, it was crazy at once upon a time, man. But, I mean, that's growth. If, if we could sit down and chop it up in that way, right. you know, because people can say, even though you can give you can give a person props in a radio interview, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah. But at the same time, if I don't right. talk to them, I still don't know where his head is. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I tried to reach out several times, man, but, you know, you have to, you have to I right. guess when he read it, we'll have that conversation. I just hope it don't be too right. late. You know, you know, you know it's crazy that you say that, though, Pat. Is, uh, like when we had Paul on the show uh, once before, y'all had, uh, he did the shit with, uh, with Zerk to lock him in the trunk. He didn't even know you was in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm like the video out that shit and the shit was bumping. He didn't even recognize it was you. And like 